Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey guys. Hey. So we just wanted to take some time to uh, touch base with you guys and just give you an update and kind of recap our 2022. Mm -hmm. So um, we didn't really realize how how it would affect us thinking back over the last year. Mm -hmm. I started thinking back over kind of everything we went through, um, all the things we were involved in, all the things that happened in our lives. And... Um, yeah, it's a lot to kind of think about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is. <laughs> I'm listening. It is. Uh, and you don't realize how much like time passes. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like one thing to the next, one thing to the next. Yeah. And you don't slow down enough to realize what you've walked through. Um, overall, how would you say you think this year was for us? I think it was hard. Mm. I think it was a hard year. Yeah. Um, it's hard to put a theme, but it, to me, it's like it was. There was a series of difficult things, mm -hmm. uh, and for us, it was a constant choice to put one foot in front of the other, mm -hmm. and to continue building family, continue building memories, mm -hmm. and continue hoping for the future in spite of uh, what was going on. So uh, near the end of 2021, right before the beginning of 2022, that's kind of where I'll start and. We ended that year going into 2022 having a miscarriage. Mm -hmm. And so that that's, that was really hard. That would be two yeah. that we've had. We had one before Ellie uh, and we had one after Ellie. Um, it makes having her that much sweeter, but there's still mm -hmm. pain there. Yeah. And it's hard to kind of get past yeah. knowing that we could have been a family of seven, you know? So that's difficult. That's crazy to think about. Yeah. But just that number in itself but if you've gone through a miscarriage i feel like people don't understand it until they walk through it right because i didn't understand it when i had a friend that went through it i didn't get it like yeah i felt bad but like i didn't know the level of pain she was feeling and i i feel bad that i couldn't relate right like, very well right the so, best you can do is just be there just be there yeah because you you have to just come to grips with the fact that you won't fully understand. Yeah. But you can still be with them. Yeah, research things to say and when not to say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's some there's it. some cliches that just don't do anything. No. It's kind of silly. No. So, so then, like, uh, Bella and Jabin, one thing they really enjoy is choir. And so they were involved in choir mm -hmm. in the beginning of the year in 2022. Mm -hmm. And that's every time every time I go to one of their choir concerts, it's a really bright point for me. Because I love music. I love hearing it. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't have a lot of background in music. It just wasn't in my family. Um, it's in my family further back, but it wasn't something that was emphasized or that I even went after, you know, as a child. So um, seeing the kids in choir and hearing their concerts, I usually like tear up because it's like, <laughs> it makes me so happy to hear them singing and harmonizing. It's just really beautiful. Yeah. Um, ben and May's side of the family has music. Uh, and it's something we want in our family for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Both the kids are learning piano. They're both training their voices. So it's really exciting for me to enjoy that. Um, and that, that kind of leads into um, last year, 2022, one of my friends um, lost his son. And um, he was 16. Oh, but, no, just, yeah. but it's like, you know, the hardest thing that you can imagine for a, for a parent, for a family. Mm -hmm. And like ever since then, I've been res like wrestling with how do I, how do I be uh, a Christian brother to this guy? And how do I be a true friend? Yeah. Um, and what does that look like? And like, like we're talking about coming to terms with the fact that I haven't gone through that. I, you know, obviously right. I hope I never do. And I hope right. nobody, none of you have to. Yeah. Um, but until you have, you you don't quite you don't know, know yeah. you know, like... Um, All you can do is just, like, be there, right. like, once in a while. So that that is, like, something that my mind just keeps circling back to. It's like, man, their life will never be the same, you know? Not for a very long time. Yeah, which, and that really rocked them, and it rocked the people around them. And mm -hmm. it's just, like, when you, if I let my mind go down that road, it's like a dark place, and it's just so hard to imagine you know i think that's one of the biggest things um 
that was hard this year. Yeah. Like yeah. getting that and not knowing exactly how to be a friend right. in that moment. Like you don't want to be too annoying. Like at the same time, you don't want them to go in a um, a cave and not come out. Right. Um, you want them to know that you're there and not necessarily say much, but just be there to, to listen. Yeah. Uh, and if you say something stupid, like... Which I do. And I don't to have them, of... you know, express exactly how they feel in that moment when you say something stupid and you being able to take it because you right. just... You have to give a lot of grace to people that go through things like that. Just it's because it's no longer about you or the friendship. It's about them yeah. and what they're dealing with at yeah. the moment. Um, so yeah, uh, that was that was a tough one. That it was took, really hard. It took us a while to I feel like to function. It was like my first funeral, my first burial. I've never gone to things. That right. I just stay away from stuff like that. Yeah, but like. That was tough mentally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I like, you know, it's something that we're still walking out because yeah. we're, you know, we're, we want to stay close. We want to, we don't want them to be alone. We don't mm -hmm. want to be there in their face if they don't want us there. Right. But like, I'm going to go see him this next week, you know, and every time I go to see him, I'm like, what should I do? How should I act? Mm -hmm. How can I be there for him in the best way? Am I getting in his space? Mm -hmm. You know, and I just keep coming back to, no, I'm going to keep going. Mm -hmm. I mean, if... If he's not comfortable, he'll let me know. I'm, he's, he's pretty. So, he's pretty he's, candid. Yeah. And he's he's really mature. Yeah. Like I I don't need, honestly I don't know if he'll see this, but bro, I don't know how you do what you do and mm -hmm. continue on. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just hope God continues to give you grace in your life. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that that was hard, you know. Um, so yeah, that that's pr yeah, like you said, probably the hardest, the hardest thing. One. Yeah, um, there's sure. been other things personally that we've had to walk through that's been enlightening but difficult as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll just keep going. So Eliana, all winter long. <laughs> so let me say this yeah, before we transition yeah, yeah. to that. So there were like I don't know how I would describe it, but it was like it had moments of very low, like we're like you know our friend's child passing away that was extremely yeah. low moments but yeah. then you'll have like little um glimpses glimpse of, of like hope or joy hope or joy yeah. it, it didn't stick long but it was just there to yeah. remind like you a like a respite from yeah the, like okay yeah. let me let me breathe and yeah. you know get back into this craziness that we're dealing with right, right. now where but, we had to just continually like choose to put one foot in front of the other yeah and not to the degree that our friends would have to, right. but but still, like mm -hmm. it's been a mixed year. Yeah, it has mostly like I would say mostly negative, negative. <laughs> with with like yeah. little sprinkles of fun and good. But that's what life is. It yeah. seems like yeah. And I guess that's when you when you talk about living life, unless you're going to be completely numb to everything, you're going to have the joy and the pain. Yeah. Okay, so I I had mentioned, um, you know, Eliana all winter long was looking forward to going to the zoo. And when she says yeah. the zoo, there's this, you've seen where we go to this uh, Amish run farm with all these different types of animals. Uh oh, mm -hmm. you it's okay. It's you can okay. Do it if you need to. I'm, I'm recording elsewhere. So, so no, go ahead. Can, no, no, you can. And then good. we'll pick you're it good. up. We can edit it out. Mm -hmm. You're good. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah, that was something that she looked forward to. And then in the summer, we were able to take her. Yeah. She would, all the time, she'd go, when can we go to the zoo? When can <laughs> we go to the fair? the fair? She was so excited. And so when we finally got to do it, she was just so excited. We went with some friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of them was a pastor. And I can even remember, like, all of a sudden, I, I just felt like, because it was on my mind about my friend and his son's passing, I was talking to this guy, like, hey, you know, what, what do you think about this? And, like, I know you, you know, you officiate funerals a lot. And, like... I don't know how do you walk with people through this stuff. So just trying to figure out mm -hmm, this road, the of, best way. Yeah. yeah, how do you be there for them in a way that's appropriate? So that even on that trip to the zoo, I was you know thinking about it, but mm -hmm. it was fun. It's always fun to go and see the animals. The mm -hmm. kids love it. So yeah. um, we enrolled the kids in soccer again, and I don't know how much Bella played. I think she played a little bit during yeah. the winter. It's not her thing. That's not yeah. her baby's thing. <laughs> but then in the spring, we put her in. Javen and Bella both played in separate leagues, and she did good considering. I mean, she she did okay. She, yeah, 
She learned a lot she and she things. improved a lot. She it's wasn't not the, her thing. She wasn't it's, the best on the team. It's not her thing. Right, right. But I think it was good for her to be yeah. around the girls and, yeah. and to she, compete. She made friends. Yeah. That's important <laughs> yeah. to Bella. So that's yeah. good. So yeah. that was good. Uh, and then every year there's a fair in town. So the, the county fair. fair. Yeah. We, we recorded it, but I never, never edited it, it for you guys. <laughs> I mean, I post. It's kind of similar every year. Well, I may, I post maybe like one clip on, I think. On IG. No. TikTok. Mm-mm. YouTube. Shorts. Like it was a YouTube short, Like goodbye summer or something like that. Oh, okay. Like it was really short, but it, that was fun. It was yeah. a blast. Yeah, the fair is always a good time. Goodbye. The kids love it. Mm-hmm. Go and play some games, ride some rides. Yeah. Get some fun food. Mm-hmm. Walk around and see the animals and stuff. <laughs> so, this one was interesting. Sending so, the kids, um, sending the children to school. Right. Um, and a lot of these things, a lot of the things we mentioned, you guys can go and check out videos the on videos, those things. Because yeah. we made a lot of videos about what's happening in our lives. Yeah. So, so the school journey was something we documented, you yeah. know. And the kids have been homeschooled from the get-go. And every year, we get a little closer to sending them to school. <laughs> uh, and this last year, we had them we enrolled. We were really close Yeah, we had year. paid the enrollment fee. We were just about to uh, start with registration, and we backed out. So we had them enrolled at this private school. And the more we learned about it, we just realized, I don't think this is for us. I don't think this is for our kids. Hmm. We backed up. What do you mean? Hmm. I'm listening. <laughs> like, <laughs> You're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we did in the moment. Sorry, that came out wrong. Yeah, you're like, hmm. <laughs> oh, really? That's, That's how, how you feel. That's <laughs> gonna. He's talking about the school. Yeah, it was. Uh, oh, it was an almost possibility for right. sure. We got right. really close. Um, yeah. So it didn't happen. It didn't work. Out. <laughs> So the kids are homeschooled so again. So the <laughs> online is going okay, but I right. think I think the struggle isn't on the material itself. I, I feel like it's the technical aspect of school. Hmm. Like, um, how do I say this? Like, I don't know. Not being, it's not live, so it makes it a little difficult. Oh, for, right. Like when the children have questions, they have questions or yeah. don't understand. Yeah, something. they can't just ask a, right. you know the professor something and that's where we come in we come in but yeah. then it's like we What's also haven't been following along right and so like and then math has changed different things have changed over the I years i never liked the math the <laughs> math know. curriculum though I don't in know how. third grade i was i told i think i came to you i said i don't like how they're teaching this math yeah. Like, it I changed love math. It. Whatever that happened to just basic math? Basic that w- I was on. like, this is unnecessary time <laughs> right. wasting. Yep. Like, seriously, give me to the answer. It's like, you could do it this way, or you could do it this way, or you could do it this way, or you could do it this way. It's like, like, why no. don't we just say, here's the best way? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Anyway. Uh, we had an opportunity to go visit the dunes mm-hmm. at Lake Michigan with some friends and do a collab, which was really fun. Our first collab yes. in 2022. So if that you was want, really fun. If you want to collab with us, just hit us up on our um, through our email. Yep. We're open. <laughs> it we, we can, we it can chat to, about it. Has it. To work. We can at it least has to chat work. about it. <laughs> Feel free to email. Yeah. So... Um, we also got to visit Silver Beach up in Michigan. Can I say something? Yeah, yeah. Like, so, Jory going down this list of, like, things we did or what happened in 2022. I want you guys to, like, visualize a, a family that is becoming more free mm-hmm. uh, in um, first of all, in, in Christ, understanding their freedom they have in Christ, but mm-hmm. also understanding that uh no matter who's who is or who isn't in your life Mm -hmm. like god will take care of you right um especially if you are in the correct standing with christ so like we we were going through a lot of like um sadness and and pain Mm -hmm. and stuff through the years like just with things happening with you know with friends uh family Mm -hmm. like um and things of that nature. So, like when we when we decided to look at each other and say we have to live, like right. we have to right. move on, and right. like we can't we can't dwell on this right. negativity because our kids are only getting old, um, older, right. and you and I we can't let it affect our health like it has. So, like then, um, just feeling that 
courage to finally pick up right and start almost and like it was like a, a yeah. new a new start for our family like yeah. a young family and just yeah. say this is how we're living now um so like going to things like the dunes it felt so so beautiful mm-hmm. it felt so peaceful mm-hmm. it felt so new it just felt great it it felt like the right thing to do right I, Hopefully I'm making sense. Um, yeah, there was a realization because a lot of what we've walked through has been really painful. Mm-hmm. There's been a lot of rejection, a lot of hurt, a lot of things done by people. And, uh, and, and you know, we've been living under the weight of that for a long time. And over the past few years, a really long time. yeah, over the past few years, it's like God's just like peeled back the layers and we can just see, see what's it, happening. See a lot of stuff, yeah. And so while it's nice to like fully understand the depth and the what's happening it's all it also hurts to to realize to accept it yeah to accept and what's say, what's been done and, it is and who it did is. it and, yeah. yeah and all that so yeah um so like there's been this like heaviness and this wrestling that we've had to do but then coming to the point and realizing okay god's going to lead us forward mm-hmm. we have to choose to build from here forward mm-hmm. and and not spend time like down in the dumps about what we can't have or what's what n- we can't fix. Right. What's yeah. it, what we've tried for years to fix and can't mm-hmm. and leave that to God and move ahead trusting him. Yeah. So that's kind of what this is about. Like when we go off to the beach, it's a conscious choice. Like we're going to live. We're going to create memories. It's a, gonna, yeah, it's a painful choice. It's painful because you know you won't have certain things in your life. But at the same time, I've come to the real, realization that at any point in time, someone can choose to build from there into future generations. Yeah. And so that's where I'm at, realizing that we are becoming the patriarch and matriarch of our family to generations to come. Yeah. And what we build now in Christ and in memories and in love and in meaning, those things will be carried on to future generations and will be a blessing. So that's that's kind of what we're realizing in spite of the pain. Yeah. We move ahead. Yeah. yeah. So when you see a vlog about us going anywhere, just know that there is a sense of freedom that is yeah. being executed yeah. through that yeah. vlog. And we don't want to say too much because we want <laughs> to be a, 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 a just a, a place of joy. Mm-hmm. At the same time, we don't want you guys to think that our life that it's is all perfect. just peaches and cream. Yeah. But just know it's <laughs> yeah. it took a lot of praying. It took a lot of like, oh, yes. I want to do it to yeah. like... No, you have to live. You will live. Right. Like, yeah. um, so like even going to the beach for the first time as a family, y'all, that was our first time at the beach. Yeah, the the silver, silver beach. beach. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. oh my gosh, that yeah. was the one of the best <laughs> memories. Yeah, it was like a like, vacation that wasn't too far it, away. Yeah, and we're like, it wasn't we're going to go to the beach. We're going to go here. We're going to stay at this nice hotel. We're going to... We oh, went out to it Hibachi. Was, it, it was and, fun. I mean, and, I think we filmed that for them. That, yeah. was, like, that, was, that was like one of the best vlogs, like, yeah. I feel. And, it, you know, the numbers <laughs> showed a little bit. But, like, um, to this day, Ellie talks yeah. about Hibachi. That's what I was going to say. She's like, like, can we go to Hibachi? Even can we go to Hibachi? When we went to Charleston, yeah. she was like, <laughs> Hibachi? And, yeah. we, you know, we had it, like, in our minds, like, we yeah. should do it. But then yeah. things just did not work out. Right. Like, and there were some um, things more unique to the areas we went that we did instead. But we did want to take Hibachi <laughs> again. Like, yeah. But that is a memory that she will forever have. Yeah. And to think that... If we would have sunk into right, just stayed at home that weekend, depression, just sadness, felt down about, and like, yep. whoa, it's us. Like yep. our child would have not had that experience, yep. or yep. our children, because the older two really enjoyed it mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Um, so just kept going, like, Can we play volleyball again, Dad? Can yes, we play volleyball? and I, like I played volleyball. playing beach volleyball in the sun. It was so fun. <laughs> I played volleyball when I was in high school. So mm-hmm. like. Um, it was so nice to be able to like relive that mm-hmm. moment, like with my family. Um, I don't know. It was, it was like, it's been, like I said, it's been highs and it's been like really, really lows. low lows. Yeah. Uh, or like <laughs> not even like high, high, but just like you're living. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There's <laughs> you been a conscious up, choice. Yeah. You yeah. Know? You made a conscious choice to do this. Right. Um, yeah. So. That has been such a blessing. Mm-hmm. I'm forever 
thankful like to be on the beach early saturday morning you're mm -hmm. you're barefooted walking on the sand and the, <laughs> the cool breeze on your face on your body and like then going to the warmth and then into the water oh, sorry guys <laughs> i was actually able to sleep like you made a tent oh, or whatever tent, yeah. and i was able to sleep in the tent yeah guys. right on the beach yeah. so peaceful mm -hmm. so you can hear the waves it, here's an encouragement like <sighs> and I, no but like here's an encouragement seriously like just take a trip somewhere like mm -hmm. not it doesn't have to doesn't be doesn't have far. to be crazy it or expensive be fancy. but be intentional be intent yeah. that's the thing i yeah. feel like we learned 2022 was a year of being intentional yeah. for us yeah. yeah for our family for our family yeah, yeah. okay so yeah that covers all that we we you guys got to see our journey of house hunting yeah. shopping for a new Still house not done yet and then, and then but eventually for the moment, we're we yeah we're holding so <laughs> we're holding. yeah it's like uh as the market got more and more difficult to, to find things and the interest rates shot up um we just realized it's not a great time to be buying a house no. so but it would be great it would be so phenomenal to like if youtube took off and then we had no limit to work. okay so listen this is what we need y'all to do okay we want to move to a warm place yep so we need you guys please subscribe to yep. take us to we're a gonna warm go place. to ecuador <laughs> no we ain't gonna we're gonna go to brazil <laughs> no we're not doing we're gonna that. go to congo no not yet we're okay, gonna go so to listen, somewhere babe, warm we need it guys seriously <laughs> we want to egypt <laughs> I have to tell our friends something. <laughs> Listen, we really want to move. Uh -huh. Okay? We want to move somewhere warm. And uh -huh. we need you guys to subscribe. Now, subscribing <laughs> doesn't cost you a thing. It just means, you know, you want to watch us more. You want to be notified when our videos come out. Mm -hmm. So, subscribe to move us to a warm place. And go check out our merch at themajesticfamily.com. <laughs> 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 Feel it? Okay, back, All right. back to the <laughs> recap. Um, and so, Javen's birthday is in June. And um, you left us. Yeah, but but <laughs> I'm I'm jumping back because uh -huh. um, our friend's son died in May, and then Javen's birthday was in June. I had a camping and canoeing trip planned. Um, oh, so that Javen and I would be camping right on the riverbank, and then we'd be taking a canoe trip. And I knew that after what happened, um, you know, with our friends that Bename just wouldn't be comfortable with mm -mm. me taking Javen on the water. Mm -mm. Uh, so I, I had called and said, you know, I'm going to have to cancel. You know, if you guys at the campsite, if you have to keep the money, I understand. But we're just in a place where we can't be on the water right now. Yeah. Um, it was just hard. Yeah. Just... And and so they actually said, well, we'll, we'll give you a credit. If you want to do it later in the year, you can. You can. So, that's, so then we went through our summer and got around to like September... Um, I can't remember how late it was, but Javen and I ended up going camping. We didn't do the canoe trip, but we camped next to a pond, and we just had a really awesome time. I, th I think we showed a little bit of it, or I can't remember if we did. You guys didn't vlog your aspect, oh, okay. but we vlogged ours. Right. But, um, yeah, they were supposed to have, like, more water fun. I just I couldn't Yeah, it. no, like, it, was, it was too much for me to think yeah, about. Yeah. Uh, so we did a ton of fishing uh, just from the bank there at the campsite. By the pond and just had a good time playing and campfire and just Javen and I, father son camping. So that was really good. Coffee. <laughs> From a tin cup in my hand, sure warms the fingers when it's cold. Yeah. So that's that's a cover that my grandpa and grandma did. Okay, sweet. Mm. Sorry. Sorry, yeah, Another fun one right. you guys got to see was uh, taking Bella horseback riding. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Mm -hmm. um, so a friend of mine at work, an Amish guy, let us come over and Bella rode horseback with his daughter. She had fun. Yeah, yeah, so that was nice. She hadn't ridden in a long time, so I surprised her with that. So mm -hmm. that was a cool thing to do. Mm -hmm. And this year... You don't have to tell you. You don't have to say that. Okay, so I had a birthday. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> another... Talk about being intentional. So this year... Yes! It had been a long time, probably since like South Carolina. Yeah. When we when it was just the two of us. No, I think we had Bella. She was a baby. Really? Since we had done a Thanksgiving. Oh yes. Um, yes. With that, like friends. actually hosted people and yeah. You know everybody friends. made food. Mm -hmm. So this past year we chose. We were intentional. Like mm -hmm. in spite of everything. In spite of. We're making what memories. We're feeling right now. And we made turkey and we made 
What else? All kinds of All food. Things. I can't even remember. Uh, mac and greens, cheese. Mac and cheese. We had some people over. Y'all, they brought I, a ton I, of food. I, I thought I, I thought I had <laughs> recorded that portion, but like they bought oh. food, I couldn't find it. Oh the yeah, they store. brought like five dishes. I'm like, something. I didn't have to cook all this food. You mean like we, our was table great. was like covered? We had to have a separate table to eat on because we had yeah, so much we food. had to actually get more leaves, leaves on because yeah. there's yeah. so much food. But like, so we had a really great Thanksgiving. We played games it together. It was all, good we conversation. We had some, some friends from yeah. Zimbabwe over. Mm-hmm. It was awesome. My friend's family, she was visiting her mom back mm-hmm. in Zim. And so um, I was like, well, we're having Thanksgiving. They can come over. Yeah. Hi, so dad and kids came over. Came and we all and, and uncle. Oh, yeah. And the uncle, uncle was there, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was good. It, it was, was good fun. Time. The game, that was my favorite. We laughed and had fun. Yeah. Yeah, for it sure. was good. Uh, <laughs> the highs and the lows. And the lows. So here's another low. <laughs> Like, this area we live in is rife with covert racism. So, Um, here's the thing. This is what I say. It's great because of the type of people that live here. Yeah. But it's not because of the type of people that live here. (laughs) And what that means is there's there's quietness here. There's safety. There's safety. Physical safety. Um, But there's also judgmentalism. I don't know if that's a word. Um, there's religiosity. Yeah, yeah, there, is that a word? Yeah, like uh, stuck up type Not, attitude. I wouldn't say stuck up. Thinking you're would, better than. Okay, is that what stuck up is? Holier than thou. Type I was going to say that. Yeah, holier like, than thou. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like, although the folks, a lot of the folks around here would never admit it, they look down on people of darker skin color or from a yeah. different background than yeah. them Mexican, African. Asian, mm-hmm. you name it, and uh, it's sad, and they would uh, uh, never admit it. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Who wants <laughs> to admit that they're that they are that? that yeah, right. like, no. And that's the funny thing is like the type of folks that are around here believe very strongly in being perfect, and you can't be perfect. So the next best thing is to appear, appear perfect. perfect. <laughs> and so there's this huge yeah, really. facade in this area of people attempting to appear perfect. And so, and so they can't, if they feel a certain way about you, they can't say it mm-hmm. directly, but they do feel that way about you and it will come out in the way Eventually. you Eventually. Yeah. 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 Like, so I, that, that's We were actually weird. talking the other night and I was like, I don't think I've ever had anyone call me the N word right. while we were living here. I was like, oh, never mind, never mind. There was this little boy at the park. Oh, park. yeah. And I was yeah. like, yeah, there was him. Um, yeah, because kids will just say it. So even though the parents won't, they'll think it. He'll yeah, say it. He'll yeah. say it. And I, I just, I was like, oh, y'all, yeah. I will fight a child. <laughs> <laughs> I would, but I wouldn't. Like, no, you I, wouldn't. I, I told Jorah, I said, if he say it again, gonna I'm going go to go find to his parents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're going to go fight mommy and daddy because we're not doing that. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah, that was that was hard. Or yeah. even the guy at the um, at the store, yeah, where you wanted store. to get rice. Yeah. yeah, I feel like sometimes it's hard for me personally to share what's going on in my life because I feel like some people have decided to not get it. Oh yeah, and it oh, shows yeah. by the comments. Yeah, like cause and they like, won't until they until they until see it, it over and over. They won't. You won't. No, but pe- it's people like, in my. The people I grew up with, people around here. Yeah, they will not see. They, it. Yeah, until you live. With a black girl, and you encounter it firsthand, you just won't. Yeah, they were they they cannot get outside of their own experience. Well, even on some people on, on that watch us, some of the people that have commented, right. like me sharing right. that, it's like, well, it's not that I listen. I'm not a. I've said I was raised not looking at right. racial. No, your stuff. parents never discussed it. I was not raised that yeah. way. So when I tell you, hey, this is what what right. it is. Yeah, like getting gaslit. Um, like, no, you misread it, or maybe it was rude that you got whatever, <laughs> but it's like, you totally misunderstood the point, right. and that's okay, but it's like, um, no, I've, we've, I've dealt with that, I've dealt with so much more People that's don't not want to on there, yeah. yeah, and it's okay, it's okay, like, take it with a grain of salt and yeah. move on. Yeah, mm-hmm. there you have it. What was the last one? Our fun trip. Yes. So another intentional. Intentional thing trip. we did. To enjoy life. Uh, The end of the year, we chose to go spend New Year's with our friends in Charleston, South Carolina. In the building? Beautiful people. Shout their names out like that. 
Cut that out, honey. Cut that out. Thank you, dear friends in South Carolina, (laughs) for having us over. Yeah. And we chose to do some things along the way. We went through Knoxville and checked it out. We visited... Pigeon Forge. Where is that place? We almost. We went. That was Gatlinburg. Y'all, no, <laughs> we, you gotta stop and we tell went the to story. Hold on. The <laughs> aquarium. We <laughs> just keep going okay. before you. And we visited our old hometown in okay, Greenville, so South listen, Carolina. Guys, there was a moment in the uh, video of where we're going down to the aquarium uh-huh, where in Gatlinburg. everybody was stressed. Like, I don't Not think everybody. you got. <sighs> So you just don't sit up here and lie to these people like that. Everybody. Everybody. Because I don't think the design of that place is safe at all. That one road. That yeah. one, it's bad. It, how, how high up? Maybe 500 feet. Yeah. yeah. And there are no rails. Yeah, on no the, guardrails. No guard on the side. <laughs> yep. So it one just miss kept, move and you done. Mm-hmm, it just kept getting higher and higher <laughs> and higher. Yep. And George sitting up here talking. No, sir. <laughs> You're not gonna talk. What you? What you? What, <laughs> what are you gonna do? What you gonna do? And, do? <laughs> and you gonna just keep your eyes on the road and your foot on the brake? Cause we got hell in there. I was like, oh my gosh! I I know in his heart he's trying to calm me down. I thought I could that calm her down. Like, it worse. this is this beautiful. Look at the view. She's like, honey, stop talking. <laughs> so yeah. And the everybody was freaked out. Needless to say, we rang in the new year. In happiness. Hold and, on. Uh, Hold, let me tell them. Don't go on it, Bename. I'm trying to talk. Oh, I apologize. You're good. Okay. Go ahead. Are you? Were you really? <laughs> no, I'm okay. Uh, you were, I thought you were trying to end it. I was like, I didn't say what I wanted to say. End it? I want to be with you forever. Well, you better. All right. So, like, why Charleston? Well, we have friends that we've mm-hmm. been friends with for... 14 years? Uh, 13, 14 years? We got... Yeah, Since 14 we've been years. Married. It's been 14 years. Yeah. yeah. And uh, her and I speak... We try to have a phone date once a month. A Zoom phone <laughs> If it date. can happen. If it yeah. can happen, it does. Um, and she's... I think she's... Her and maybe one other person off and I've on. Kept, <laughs> I've kept in touch with. And mm-hmm. so, like... I have not gone to visit her at all. When she had moved uh, three hours away, she actually would come and visit us. And when we were still down Her South other Carolina. friends. So yeah. I'm just like, I have to pay this woman a visit. <laughs> She's so sweet. She is, yeah. Um, so then... And, and so is he. He's very sweet. You're yeah, sweet well, too, but... <laughs> <laughs> I don't be talking to him like that. No, like, we talked like, a lot. We talked more than we ever had you, talked. Yeah. Yeah, we were chit-chatting a lot. And so like... I told her, I was like, I'm going to come down there. I'm gonna, I've always said I'd come down there and not come. I was one of, yeah. So eventually. Um, we finally made it. We finally made it. it so they're a beautiful good. house. Beautiful. Beautiful home, neighborhood. Neighborhood. Most beautiful kids. Yes. Yeah. Fun, fun. Yeah, fun their kids children. are so much fun. All girls. Yeah. Um, and they got, a, our kids got along so well. Yeah, that was nice to which see. Was, yeah. Which our was, which was really Especially good. Especially the oldest and youngest. And the youngest. Because yeah. <laughs> Javen's yeah. a boy, so that makes it a yeah. little more awkward. The, well, the they second one, Goofy, so like they were They both still kind of got along, yeah. yeah. So it was nice to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that yeah. was sweet to go and intentionally, like, I'm going to go visit my friend. Because yeah. I never had, like, you know, moving from Africa to America, You, I didn't get a chance to keep those childhood right. friends. Right, you were 10 when you moved. So, yeah, start so like, over. yeah, I start over when I moved to, uh, when I lived in Indiana, but mm-hmm. then I uh, was in Indiana for like, what, nine years? Then moved to and South Carolina. And then moved Carolina. to South Carolina, I had to start over again mm-hmm. because everybody from high school moved. Then moved back here. Thing. And so, like, she's like one of the <laughs> first friends I've right. kept for yep. a very long yep. time. Um, I have others, like I said, but. She's. I've been intentional with her because yeah. I feel like we kind of have a similar mindset. Y'all are both very mature. I think that's what it yeah. is. <laughs> and I think it works because we give each other space. Right. Like we love each yeah. other, yeah. but we also give each other space. Yeah. And I feel like that's needed. Right. In, in you both know you're there. Yeah. And you, you stay connected, but yeah. you're not kind of in each other's space too much. Yeah. yeah. And she's a, she's a good listener. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. So my kids, my kids, um, when they met her after we left, is their first time. Well, it's not their first time meeting her, but like them remembering because right. they didn't older. Really remember, yeah. yeah. They were, uh, the first thing they were like, 
Mom, she's so sweet. She smiles <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I was like, yeah, she does. Um, yeah, it was it was great. I wanted to do other things with her, but like the kids were getting like tired during that tour mm-hmm. and stuff. Like she had a birthday, I wanted to do something oh, for yeah. her birthday, but I'll get it done sometime. <laughs> but it was good. It was good. Yeah, it was good. So that's how we rang in our 2023, crossing over from 2022 to 2023. It ended well. Yeah, it, did. it ended really well. It was. It, oh, and then like the the whole. Um, hotel thing working out good oh yeah that was i felt like that was a sign yeah yeah we we, on the way home from charleston we stopped in our old hometown Mm -hmm. we lived in south carolina in greenville area and we stopped in and we were staying at this hotel we got Mm -hmm. there the room was dirty oh we're like oh no come on it's like 11 at night yeah really we just got in we're we had we had actually stayed in Charleston for fireworks because it was like from 31st to 1st oh, yeah. of the year. And so we wanted to see the fireworks. So after the fireworks, we were packed and hit the road. And so we drove into the night, got to our hotel, and the room was dirty. So we're like, oh, call, call down to the desk. Just so happens this general manager, this general manager that I, I don't know what her title is, understand that as 2023 barrels on, that um, in spite of everything that we're walking through, that we have walked through, that we still have to figure out in terms of our own lives and relationships and our friends, you know, who are still dealing with this loss. And, you know, I'm sure we'll still encounter some difficulties, but uh, you can with us look forward to building new and wonderful things in the future. So that's what 2023 looks like. Yeah. What What are your hopes for this this year. Wow. Um, what are I, your I, desires? Uh, let's see. I desire to find more wholeness for myself. Let's go. Um, uh, to to build things for my family and for us uh, in terms of finance and business. And mm-hmm. uh, I hope for the children to be able to go to school and have a good experience making friendships, um, enjoying sports and Come in. school and classroom and all we that. We have a visitor. Well, hi. Come. Come join us. Say hello. You're going to say hi, Ellie? Come say hi. <laughs> she wants her mama. <laughs> hey. You're Somebody's okay. up from their nap. Yeah. So what else? Is that all you were going to say? Yep. Okay. For me is to, I would really um, like to find, child. what'd you say? Before another child. You'd like, mama would like another child? What is, <laughs> it's every day with her and Bella. You think like, mama would like to have another child? Yeah. Because two are rats. Because what? Two rug rats. Two rug, you and another one, huh? Yeah. I want a brother and a sister. Two more? Yeah. Okay, we'll do it. So, Deal. Make it come true. <laughs> make it come true. Oh, Jesus, yeah. help us. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, go ahead and post them. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. And as always, keep, keep looking up. up. We're out. Peace.